Hi, I'm Hugh Strange from Hugh Strange Architects. One was the Avon Wildlife Trust, just outside Bristol, and it was a new cabin for a uh, new uh, nature reserve that's been established uh, just beyond the uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge. Uh, and the second project was for a, a, an archive of architectural drawings in Somerset, uh, which houses a private collection that's set within a working farmyard. In both of these projects, we use galvanised steel extensively. In the uh, Avon Wildlife Trust building, we used it in a single way. We had very large galvanised steel doors that closed the building up completely when the building was out of use and then opened it up with these uh, large opening doors and kind of framed these grand views to the wildlife beyond and the nature and the kind of landscape beyond. They were uh, very functional in character but had a certain um, quality to their finish that reflected in a slightly mottled way the the, the amazing kind of greenery of the landscape around. So the architecture archive, we used uh, galvanised steel extensively. We had a uh, galvanised finish to our uh, W20 windows and doors. Uh, we also used galvanised steel exposed structure and we had galvanised steel in our rainwater goods. And throughout this kind of created a, a certain um, family of elements all made out of the same material that gave a certain unity to the building and to a certain character to its materiality and our choice of galvanized steel in both of these it in in each of these projects there was a tendency within these rural contexts to to use materials that were um, simple and direct and would uh, weather naturally uh, they they both use uh, timber, concrete, fibre cement and galvanised steel extensively and all of these materials have this quality of being able to um, weather naturally and improve over time and somehow, and this is an issue in all contexts but particularly in a, in a kind of rural landscape context to kind of settle into where they belong, to kind of make a home to, to somehow uh, become more at ease with their environment.